Hey guys, welcome back to our video. So today I'm going to show you how to make or buy a shipping label on Pirate Ship. So I just have an order here. I sold something on Facebook Marketplace and I need to uh, get a shipping label. So I'm just going to walk you through what it's like to actually uh, create a shipping label here. So uh, I'm signed on to Pirate Ship and this is what you're expected to see. I'm blurring out some sensitive information. Uh, you're going to be under the ship tab over here to the left and at the top you should see a button that says create a single label so I'm gonna click there okay so at the top you'll see create a shipping label so you're just going to type in the information of uh, the person you're sending a uh, product to so I'm just going to fill this stuff out so here at the top is email uh, phone those two are optional uh, here we're gonna to need to type in the person's name so I'm gonna type in the person's name and I'm gonna be blurring out this person's name for privacy reasons uh, and then you have a section over here where it says company that is also optional so I'm not going to fill anything out there so next field is the address field so I'm going to paste in this person's address okay and just like that I have typed in the person's address city state and zip code again all that information will be blocked out and where is it shipping from and this is where you should be able to type in uh, your shipping information okay and I've just scrolled down to hide uh, some of the fields here and as you can see type of packaging so I have a bubble mailer so I'm going to click on this and select uh, padded envelope poly bag soft bag whatever you call it but you see all the uh, options here the default option is a box or rigid packaging you also have your USPS priority uh, mail and bags but like I said I have uh, this bubble mailer here so I'm going to select this envelope padded envelope option and next I'm going to type in the package uh, dimensions so you just weigh your package or no you just um, measure your package uh, using like you know I have measuring tape here and the first thing it's asking me for is the length so this is the length of your package um, after the product is in there so this is eight and a half inches 8.5 and then the width of this package is and by the way when you're uh, concerned about something or unsure it's always best to just kind of round up so I'm just going to type in uh, 8 inches here and you know what let's just change this to, to 9 so it's a 9 by 8 uh, package weight I know this package is 1.5 or one pound nine ounces or ten ounces something like that so I'm gonna type in one pound and again I'm just gonna round up here let's just say um, 12 ounces one pound 12 ounces and let's see here extra services so you could select like requiring a signature and uh, qualify for media meal irregular package if it's a weird uh, package type uh, hazardous material customs form uh, save package if this is a repeat type of thing you do then you could just save uh, all this information and at the very bottom here uh, where my webcam currently is so I'll turn it off for a second there's a button that says get rates so we're gonna click on get rates and at the top left you should see uh, the, the buyers name and their address I'm going to blur that out for privacy reasons and then here uh, you'll see a drop down to choose your service by default I do believe it has the cheapest option for you um, but let's just click on it here and we can see how much everything is going to cost uh, as you can see the top one here is 10 bucks and then we can see one that's actually even cheaper uh, ground savory here so this one is eight dollars and 25 cents so I might actually opt into doing that one on second thought so taking a look at that one then we have um, USPS ground advantage and then priority mail so I the cheapest option I might have to go for it since I am paying for this person's uh, shipping here so if I click here uh, I will just have to drop the package off at U UPS but yeah I'll be paying uh, eight dollars and 25 cents here and then just uh, scrolling down here uh, we can see that the purchase date and then we can see the ship date and we can see uh, the to total cost of purchasing the shipping label and I'm gonna turn off my webcam here again and then there is a button down here that says buy label so we're gonna click on buy label here to purchase the shipping label and here you're gonna select how to pay 
Uh, you could choose to have your bank account linked, which I currently do. Uh, you could also choose to pay via PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Venmo. Uh, so choose the best way option for you. Uh, you can select down here this hyperlink and just enter in the credentials how you would like to pay. But for me, I've linked my bank account. All I have to do is send a code to my phone number here. Okay, and then I could click here to submit and buy label. So I'll click there. Okay, and just like that, you have successfully purchased your shipping label. And there is a big green button here that says print the label. So print out your shipping label and uh, tape it onto your package. Or if you have a label printer, then you know just stick it onto your package that way. But either way, the way you actually get the label is right here where it says print label, print it out. And there you go. That is how you uh, purchase a shipping label on Pirate Ship.